Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm two-time world curling champion Mark Kennedy. We have a great show for you planned today in the heart of the River Valley at the Highlands Golf Club. Yeah, you're really going to have to pump yourself up today. Yes, I do. Since 1929, Highlands has been attracting some of Edmonton's most devoted golfers. With natural spruce-lined fairways and famous River Valley views, they're known for providing a setting that gives even the most experienced players pause. Our guest today has his name on the Stanley Cup five times. He's a Hall of Famer, Vesna Trophy winner, and Spruce Grove native, Grant Fuhr. Welcome to the show, Grant. We are extremely excited to have you on. Uh, we hear you're a pretty good golfer. Uh, I have days of good and bad. Like all of us, I guess. Yeah, you could actually be the lowest handicap. I believe you are the lowest handicap that we've ever had on. What is your handicap? Uh, right now we're about 0 0.2, so ah. we're playing a little bit. Do we get strokes? No. We should get strokes. Oh. <laughs> and he's competitive. Okay, we're going to start it off with a tip. We're going to head out to number 15 here at the Highlands and meet up with head golf professional Jeremy Tanner. He'll start us off there. Okay, Jeremy, what are you going to help us out with today? We're going to talk about just the basic pitch shot, how important uh, setup and just some basic fundamentals are that uh, can get forgotten about and how a good setup is good for success. Awesome. Show us the way. Uh, most commonly, people think they have the ball in the air and they need to help it, and that's exactly what we're going to do different here. We're going to set up on our left side, and that's the foundation. And if we stay on our left side the whole way through it, we should be set up for success. It's the, when you set up on your left and fall back on the right is when the mistakes happen. So most of the weight on the left side, we're going to always lean towards the target and stay there. We're going to hit it and finish there. None of please get up in the air. It's going to be hit down, stay on the left side, and go through it. We'll see how I do. You've done this before. Sit. Somebody plays a little bit and knows the greens. Get in the Are hole. Are you serious? Not bad. Oh, good shot. You really are a pro. All right, I guess I'll follow Every that up. Then. Awesome. Say, job safe. Oh, yeah, your job's safe. Do you think you can do better than that? Oh, totally. How could I not? Oh, oh might have too. my goodness. Uh-oh. Oh, Go get in. in the hole. Oh. Are you serious? I think I got last place covered. <laughs> <laughs> Those are tough ones to follow. Everybody brought their A game with Grant Fear here today. Yeah, except me. Get up. These are some pretty good shots for first thing in the morning. Good well shot. done. Nice. We wouldn't be unhappy. There's lots of pressure. Look at you guys. Good job. Sit. Sit. Ooh, I got some work to do. All right, well, everybody has a look at Birdie here. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and play the rest of the first hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Hi, it's Joshua from Redtail Landing Golf Club. The vision of our golf club is to deliver our guests an amazing golf experience through the highest standard in customer service and golf course conditions. Each and every customer will be treated with kindness and respect in an unsurpassed setting. Book your tee time at redtaillanding.com and experience Edmonton's premier golf facility. Redtail Landing Golf Club, the public course with a private feel. Wood Ford isn't just going to find you a vehicle that's safe, classy, and affordable. They're also going to find you one that fits your lifestyle. They suited me up with this 2016 Ford Explorer that's perfect for my daily routine. Whether I'm picking up groceries, taking my daughter to dad's class, or going on another shoot for the Pro-Am Golf Show, 
the Ford Explorer gets me and all my belongings there in style. Let Kentwood Ford enhance your transportation. Visit their new showroom at 97th Street and 133rd Ave or their used Supercenter at 101 Street and 137th Ave. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Highlands Golf Club with Hall of Famer Grant Fuhr. Now Grant, I grew up in Edmonton. I'm a huge Oilers fan and uh, a lot of fans and myself want to know what you've been up to the last few years. Uh, last couple of years I've been the director of golf at a golf course down in Palm Springs, a place called Desert Dunes, which is actually owned by a bunch of Canadians. So that takes up the majority of my time. So what I want to know is that you're a pro hockey player and you're basically a pro golfer with a 0.2 handicap. How did you get into golf? I used to play a lot with my dad and then a lot of the guys when I played here, we all played golf. I used to actually sneak down here a little bit before practice and play and just kind of got the bug. Now back in the day, who were the best golfers on that team? I used to play a lot with Ronnie Lowe, Craig McTavish. Mess used to be a good player, so a few of the guys played. We've had Ron Lowe on the show before and he actually chipped in. That is buried. There nice one. <laughs> oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh, what a shot. That do you doesn't see that me. happening? I do actually. He's got great hands. Do I have those hands? No. Yeah, right. Okay, well, let's finish out these putts and then we'll really see what this game is all about. The rest of the first hole is brought to you by Pro Star Energy. This is what separates the amateurs from the pros, 10-footers. Nice smooth oh. stroke. <laughs> no horsepower, though. Oh, great putt. Good putt. Okay, so we still have a chance on this one. Have a okay, Mark, you're up. The Olympian likes these kind of pressure situations. He makes me call him that. <laughs> call me the Olympian. <laughs> Oh, Simmer, we made it. Oh, yes. What All a right. Good roll. I need to sink this for the push. You do. This was almost a gimme. Oh, good putt. <laughs> Never a doubt about it. That was a little shaky. Okay, so that's a push on the first one. We're all square after the first hole. We're going to go meet up with Jeremy Tanner one more time and talk about this beautiful golf course. Jeremy, the course is looking great. You guys have made a lot of changes. Yeah, we have some recent renovations that are all complete for 2016 season. Uh, some new bunkers, some new tee boxes, and it's uh, certainly been enjoyable for our membership to play. One of my favorite things about this course is the location. You can hear the cars going by us, but we are right downtown. We're right against the River Valley, and you guys have some awesome deals for membership right now. Yeah, you bet. And that's from downtown, which is awesome, but like Meg just said, in the River Valley, so you don't really feel like you're downtown. Uh, latest uh, membership promotion going on for the rest of 2016, uh, 2017 dues, entrance fee and share, all for $6,000, wow. 2000 up front. So yeah, play for the rest of this year and uh, all of next year. You guys have the awesome clubhouse as well, overlooking the whole course, and that's open year round? Definitely open year round, weddings, functions, Christmas parties, uh, corporate business meetings being close to downtown, uh, open to the public. Uh, Friday nights are really popular, we always have live entertainment. So that's got quite a following, so yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much again for having us out here this year. Thanks for coming. We'll have more of the Pro-Am Golf Show after this. Twisted Tea, the official tea of the Pro-Am Golf Show. How fast is it? Plenty fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's, it's how, how well, well you, you mow, mow fast. fast. It's how well you mow fast! It's how well you mow fast. Even if it doesn't catch on, doesn't mean it's not true. The John Deere Z-Track Z535M with our re-engineered deck to mow faster, better. From your farm to your lawn to your weekend, Martin Deerline has you covered. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. 
Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at the Highlands Golf Club with five-time Stanley Cup champion and goaltender for the Edmonton Oilers, Grant Fuhr. After the first hole, it was a push. On to the second hole, we're going to start it off with a KP Challenge. It's brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Excellence. After a nice up and down, Meg, box is yours. Here we go. Stay left. That's not going to be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you know, it looks so pretty in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that was silky smooth. Yeah, I don't love this pin placement, though. They're definitely not making this easy on us today. No, they're not. It's like a nice tour pin. Uh-oh. Little pulley. To the left. Come back a bit. Ooh, oh, good bounce. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Didn't see it played that way. Remember bounce. <laughs> so that's the play, bank off the back bank it off the hill. Let's hit right. So you gotta hit it back there. Yeah. Okay. Predictions? I think he's gonna be tight. Yeah. I think this man knows how to play golf. Hits it off the deck. Oh, is that a This is sweet. gonna be good. Yeah, nothing oh, um, to it. Yeah. Safe. Good shot. Man, this game's easy, <laughs> hey Grant? I'd be jumping up and down. The rest of the second hole brought to you by Summers Drilling. Grant, I feel like you've seen it all, but what's one of your favorite memories from all those years in the NHL? Probably the guys you get to meet and hang out with. I mean, that was the greatest part about playing is you make so many good friends and they stay lifetime friends. So that's probably the best part of the whole game. Now, a memory that Edmontonians probably want to forget is the uh, Steve Smith own goal uh, back in 86, was it? 86. 86. I just want to know how the team responded to that. Um, you guys were the best team in the league at the time. Um, what happened after that that made the team better? I think it gave us a little refocus more than anything. I mean, we'd won in 84, we won in 85. So it gave us a chance to kind of refocus a little bit. And 87 was probably our best year. This might be a strange question, but what made you so good? It's a good question. I have no idea. Other, other than I enjoyed playing the game. I think that was the biggest thing is I had fun every day at the rink. So what advice would you give to younger kids that are growing up right now that want to be the next Grant Fuhr? A lot of the kids I was coaching, you tell them to have fun. I mean, you have to enjoy every day. I, mean, I think there's a lot of pressure that goes with playing goal, but at the same time, it's also a lot of fun because you get to make a difference every day. So I tell them to enjoy it. Do you, uh, do you still watch the NHL a lot? I do, I'm still a fan. Still a fan? Are there any goalies out there that remind uh, remind you of yourself? No, they're all a lot bigger than I am now. So, and it's a little bit different style. More equipment. More equipment, yeah. bigger bodies, but they're all good athletes now, and I think that's probably the biggest difference. Who would you say is the best goalie in the NHL right now? Right now, I'd say it's either Carey Price or Henrik Lundqvist, probably the two best right now. Yeah. And what would you be most proud of out of all those accomplishments that you've had? That's a good question. Hall of Fame's probably a good way to go. Yeah. I mean, it caps off everything else, so that's probably the best moment. Oh, I don't feel good about, you know what? Thank you. You're a great <laughs> caddy. <laughs> I'm going to make the switch. I'm not feeling good about this at all. Last second decision. Could be good, though. See if it pays off. It does. Very nice. Oh, nicely done. All right. Have a chance at three. Two. Okay. These greens are quick. Just try to get this close, I think. There's a good roll. Close. Sit. <laughs> really good roll. That's Take a gimme. It. Nice par. I get a gimme? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Just man. doling them out today. <laughs> nice one. This is for the win. Nice tee shot. Safe tee shot. With most players, I would say it doesn't have a chance of going in. Not with Grant. Pulled it. Uh oh. That's Sit. a bad pull. It's all right. It's a par. I can still live with it. Okay, that makes this hole a push as well. So we are all square heading into the third hole. First, we're going to take a look at one of the more obscure rules of golf, and it's brought to you by Cantor. Mm -hmm. 
So you're ball hunting in the forest and find your ball underneath a tree. You don't want to take the unplayable lie and determine you can hit the ball, but you'll have to swing from your knees. You just bought a brand new pair of fancy white pants, though, and you don't want to get them dirty. You grab a towel and you put it down before taking your shot. Well, you better add two strokes to your score for that hole for illegally building a stance. Cantorque is the solution to your bolting problems. With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantorque will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it, buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in store or online at cantorque.com. Torque it easy with Cantorque. Problem solved. Kentwood Ford isn't just going to find you a vehicle that's safe, classy, and affordable. They're also going to find you one that fits your lifestyle. They suited me up with this 2016 Ford Explorer that's perfect for my daily routine. Whether I'm picking up groceries, taking my daughter to dad's class, or going on another shoot for the Pro-Am Golf Show, the Ford Explorer gets me and all my belongings there in style. Let Kentwood Ford enhance your transportation. Visit their new showroom at 97th Street and 133rd Ave or their used Supercenter at 101 Street and 137th Ave. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. It's time for another co-host challenge, Meg versus Mark. Brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision is there's nothing to do but laugh. I am wet. At the rain coming down sideways. I'm wet, but I'm up five to three, and here we are with another competition. It's going to be closest to the pin from our second shot, but we do have to hit our drives first. Yes, I'll let you take it away. Okay. Somewhere in play, and I'll be happy. Wind's at your back. Go! Yes! Nice shot. I think it's good. Yeah, you're good there. All right. Boom! Nice one. Oh, kind of lost my balance on that one. Good swing. Didn't feel like it went very far, but I'll be in good position for the second shot, which is all that matters, right? All that matters, right? All right. It's in play. Let's go. Knock her tight. Stay left. I feel like I swung really hard. Oh, that's no good. The door is open. So all I gotta do is put this on the green. Yeah. Okay. It's not that easy in this wind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kick right. Bounce. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, oh. nobody wins on this one. So we'll keep it at 5-3 so far. Good. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Highlands Golf Club with Vesna Trophy winner Grant Fuhr. We're all tied up after two holes. Comes down to the third and final hole and we're going to start things off with a long drive competition. You're going to just try to annihilate this ball, aren't you? I'm gonna take a lesson from you and swing easy. Yeah, and he's got the giggles. I wanna get over that trap though. It's over someone's trap. <laughs> Middle of a fairway. Yeah. I think I'm safe over there. Yeah, you are. It's Perfect. actually a good spot. Middle Position A. Yeah. Find it. That is a beautiful club head. I like the color. Yeah, me too. Let's see if it works. It does. Yeah, it does. It's a little bit better. Right down the middle. Get out of that trap. Oh! The ball even. listens to you when it's not yours. You have a long way to go to get up to Grant. Yeah, I do. It's a good thing I'm using the Lady T-Box Advantage forward tees. It's 
Swing hard. Is I it gonna carry gonna the bunker? Love it. You over? I think it just went over. Either that or right in. It's hard to tell in those shadows. Good I think we're good. Good shot. Well, not too bad. You're not on the right fairway, but... Hey, I've been in way worse spots before. <laughs> you can go over the trees. You should be able to oh, make I'm this. Good. Lots of room. Yeah. I'll okay, well, it. before you hit that, Grant, you have the most assists for a goaltender in a single season. Was the mentality there just pass it to Gretzky? No, usually we stop it for cough. I mean, <laughs> we could have given it to any one of our guys. We had a pretty offensive team at that time. Yeah, you had a pretty, pretty talented team in the 80s. You have a couple other interesting stats too, though. You played the most games in a single season ever by a goaltender, uh, but it was later in your career, in 95, 96. Uh, but it was old by then. So. Yeah, 79 games, that's a lot. Um, do goaltenders nowadays play a lot less than they used to? I don't know if they play a lot less, it's just a different mentality. I mean, a lot of guys find themselves getting tired mentally at the 60, 65 mark, whereas I just enjoyed playing. That was just it? Like, you just loved it that much that you wanted to be out there every single night? You didn't want the night off? No, I mean, you prepare to play anyway, so I, if I'm gonna prepare for it, I'd rather be out in the ice playing. What was it like being on the ice with those, that Oilers dynasty team? But not only that, uh, like, you had Wayne Gretzky, who was just something else to watch every night. Well, we, at that time, we probably had the most talented team in the league, so I had the best seat in the building. Yeah. I mean, you get to watch him every day in practice, and then during games, to stand on the crease and watch him, it's a great seat. Was it somewhat distracting when he's down at the other end and it's like, oh, well, I better stop this puck now. Oh no, it just gave you room for more mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you knew you could give up a few goals and still win the game. Oh yeah, I mean, as long as you gave up three or four, you know the guys would get you five. Yeah. Wow, but, yeah, that's a totally different mentality than today's game. It is, I mean, today everything's 2-1, 3-2, so it was a lot more fun back then. Now, you had the opportunity to play in a few legendary Canada Cups as well. Um, so with the World Cup coming up here in the fall, what are your thoughts on that whole event? I think it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, anytime you're taking the best players from different countries and such, it's always fun to watch them play against each other. So I'm looking forward to it. Nice. All right, Mark. Okay. We'll let you fire away. Show us something. <laughs> I'll try. So through these two close trees and over those two far trees. And on the green, a couple feet away, putt for birdie. I like it. The plan. A planner. <laughs> Did it work? It's a different approach that you took on that one. I'm gonna say a little heavy. I hit a little fat. So Meg, Grant got you by about two yards on a long drive. Yeah, nice win, Grant. We get lucky once in a while. Yeah. Look at this. That's awfully good, though. Oh. It's pretty good. Front like pin. Front pin. You came to play. Wow. Well, I have to. We have Grant here as a guest today. Well, I didn't come to play, though. <laughs> Ooh, that club has a lot of degree. This looks like a, a fear flop. No, a little baby sandwich. Oh, I yanked it oh. badly. Get in the bunker. Oh, it's just off the fringe. I can live with that. Yeah, a little work to do. He's still gonna make par from there. Meg has a chance. <laughs> Chirp. Thinking Something, about it. Yeah, okay. not on the green yet, still not on the fairway. Why are you nervous? Yeah. You're on the green. If you're explaining it all, what do you need us here for? You know that you're behind the tree. I still got par on my mind. Oh. oh, bunker. I'm out. I hope you guys tie or push or something. You're declaring yourself out on this one? Yes. Are you leaving You're right resting? now? I'm out. Bye, Mark. <laughs> Grant, I don't know if you know this, but I was narrowly edged out for the naming of the now Grant Fuhr Arena in Spruce Grove. It was almost the Meg Morrison Arena because I lit up that blue line there for years. Oh, I thought you were serious for a sec. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I, pl I played hockey. It's women's hockey, girls hockey, actually at the time. I was 12 playing on a midget team because it was the first girls hockey in Spruce. But what was that like for you to have, a, have an arena named after you? 
It was good, actually. It was interesting because I used to work there as a kid. Really? So started there as a rink rat and played a lot of hockey there. So to have it named after me was a lot of fun. Was That's... there only one rink in there at the time? There was only a single rink. Yeah. That's very cool. So you have a permanent place in the history of this city, obviously. How often do you come back to Edmonton? Because I'm, I'm guessing you get asked all the time to do charity events, but are you in Edmonton quite often? I try and get back every six weeks or so. I mean, a couple of my kids are still here, so a lot of friends, a lot of family. So I try and sneak back as much as I can. And you're in Palm Desert the rest of the time and trying to golf when it's 110 degrees? I do, I try and loiter in the sunshine now, so it's a little easier on the bones. Yeah, yeah, well, I could tell that it's working out for you here. This shot, is gonna put a lot of pressure on me. And you said already that you like your chip better than my putt. I do, it's a little bit flatter than your putt with a little less break in it. Okay, well Mark's out of this hole, but I didn't even bring break. a club. Yeah. This is kind of embarrassing. But I need you to I need you to up and down because she can't win. We can make that happen. Okay, I think. let's do it. Okay. Yeah, show us those soft goaltender hands. This is what legends are made of. shot. Fast screens. Oh, this is going to be good. He barely hit that. We might he even make it. He barely hit that. We might even make it. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a shot. So what you're saying <laughs> what a is, shot. I have to make this putt. <laughs> nice birdie. That's how you do it. A little better. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So the hole is that way. I'm aiming this way and you have to make it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. I'm cheering for you. Look at this break. Maybe. Oh, she's close. Maybe. Turtle. Oh, that's really good. Oh, oh, good putt. I thought I had that one with that. You win the whole episode, congrats. Thank you. Not only that, but we mentioned that Ron Lowe chipped in. Played lots of golf with them, so good teacher. Yeah, apparently. Now it's time to choose the shot of the show. For that, I'm going to bring in Corey Bablitz of Bablitz Wealth Management. We have had you sponsor the shot of the show before, but today you're actually choosing on behalf of someone else. Yes, Shannon Jones of Natixis is uh, the shot of the show sponsor, but unable to make it here today, so uh, I get to come on the nice day and, and pick the shot of the show. And what are you going to pick? I think I know what this is. Well, be. it was almost that putt but I'm gonna go with Grant's chip shot there. I would pick that as well. Let's take a look. Yeah, show us those soft goaltender hands. This is what legends are made of. It's a tough shot. Fast screens. Oh, this is gonna be good. He barely hit that. We might he even make it. He barely hit that. We might even make it. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a shot. So what you're saying what a is, shot. I have to make this putt. <laughs> well, Grant, thank you for coming. It was an absolute honor to have you on the show and a, a real pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for letting us keep up as well. I was expecting you to completely school us, but you were very gracious as a guest. Well, we're trying to be nice. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's well, you just, did downplay your yeah. game for us. Hey, that's OK. It's, it's the good. Parkland County. And, oh, I you gotcha. Know, yeah. It's what, much better than Sturgeon County. <laughs> Grant, on behalf of Dr. Scott Lopatinsky at Century Vision Care and Maui Gym Sunglasses, there's a awesome. sweet pair of shades for you. So thank you so much for coming Great. out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can catch us every Saturday right here on CTV Edmonton at 1130. And if you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. We're also on Twitter and Facebook at Proam Golf Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Proam Golf Show vehicles provided by Kentwood Ford. They're known for, holy, why am I having a hard time with this Because it's cake? six in the morning. I know, I was weird. <laughs> well, I blocked out for a second. <laughs> what happened? Okay, guys, when we're ready. What if we're not ready? <laughs> well, I'd like to play a lot more, but I'll settle for three. Living the dream. <laughs> Where are we going from here? I don't know. <laughs> Is that the sound my ball makes when it comes off the club? <laughs> Miles of room? I got lots of room. Yeah. Only thing I don't have going for me is that I'm a shitty golfer. <laughs>